hello guys. Welcome back to my... I'm trying to hold my hand. <laughs> Welcome okay, you're allowed. Back to my channel. You gotta angle it down. Angle it down. Yeah. Alright, we are back in... You're cutting your head out. Are back in the kitchen today for another segment of Cooking with Andy. Andy, that's me. And today, we will be making the tastiest chicken parm you will ever eat. I won't be making it, he'll be making okay, it. I'll make it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, so chicken parm, the first thing we're gonna need, obviously, is some chicken. This chicken is pre-sliced thin. Usually, it's like six or seven dollars a pound for that, but it was actually on sale. So buy them and get one free, so it was like three dollars. Or you can just buy the big chicken breasts and cut them thin, too. But luckily, these were on sale when we were at the store, so we got them. And then we're gonna put it into some eggs that we had scrambled up. Okay, just beat those eggs up, a little wash, and then Italian breadcrumb seasoning, pretty basic. Throw a little bit of red pepper flakes in there for a little bit of a little bit of extra taste. Jenna getting real fancy with the camera work, so oh, we're gonna put this, yeah. we can do some double dips. Okay, so we're gonna take our chicken. Now some people, I and mean, this is already pretty thin, but some people you can pound it flat too. Uh, I usually don't do that. I don't know, it'd probably make it better though. So we'll just put it in the egg. Get some of those eggies off. And we'll go back. Some people, I think you could put it in flour first too. We are double and dipping. Then into the breadcrumbs, but put it in here. Get it all chickened up. Tossing and turning. And we'll just repeat through uh, till we're out of chicken. Now we got them all breaded. Um, a little trick my mom taught me. Mom, if you're watching, thank you. Um, after you bread them, put them in the fridge for a couple hours before you fry them, and it helps the breading stay on when it fries. So we'll put these in the fridge. Um, you can cover them up. We should probably cover them up with saran wrap. Well, we'll cover them up, and then we'll put them in the fridge. Okay. The sauce that we're using is uh, Don Pepino, these little yellow cans. This is actually the sauce I use when we make pizza. Um, it's pretty good, the ingredients. The ingredients, uh, <laughs> it's just tomatoes, salt, seasonings, garlic powder, and a little bit of corn oil. So it's pretty so, au natural. Pretty, so I uh, just put it in there to heat it up for a little bit. I put some, Popular. just whatever, some Italian seasonings. Some garlic powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and just heat it up on low. Put the lid on there. And then um, that's the sauce. Oh, here we go. They look the same as when they yeah, they're gonna look the weren't same. in the fridge before. Why would they look different? I don't know. Do they stick better? <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> he said, I want some chicken. Is that? I like using tongs, works pretty good. We got some olive oil, trying to be a little healthier. Olive oil in the pan. The pan doesn't sit flat, so it all goes to this side, but that's okay. So we just uh, heat that up and then we'll fry them. And uh, that's it. The oil is hot enough now, so we'll just take our chicken, put it in, start frying it up. Ooh, nice little sizzle. Ooh. Just lay them in there real gently like. So put two in, let them cook. In there, uh, we're just cooking it up. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I'll usually only do two at a time or whatever your pan's gonna fit. Maybe it's only one, that's fine too. Um, let it cook. We got this dry, I don't have a drying rack, so I just take the thing out of the toaster and I put it on this plate. That's key to let it dry like that. If you put it on the plate, then it's gonna get soggy on the bottom of it, and we don't want that. So. Andy over here spitting the facts in the kitchen. Okay, so the edges around here are getting a little brown, so it's probably ready to flip. So we'll just grab them and give them a little flip. Could have been a little longer. This one, because our pan's uneven, I bet this one's not going to be cooked much. See? I only got side. But that's okay. We'll leave them in there. Our pan's like warped. Yeah. This chicken's pretty thin, so as long as you get a golden brown on the outside, it'll probably be cooked. And if not, oh well. Jenna, can't even wait for the darn chicken to be done eating pudding. How healthy is a snack? How healthy is that? Not very. Give me some. Chickies are done. It's pretty good. Going to brown both sides. All that breading stayed on there. Listen to None that 
sizzle. We'll stick it over here on our drying racks. Like, like yum. I think that means it's too hot, so I turn it down usually. I don't like when it gets all bubbly and bubble over. What's What would happen if it's... I don't know. I just don't like it, so I don't let it do it. So I turned it down. I guess it makes sense like pasta. Like when you boil pasta. What does pasta? that have to do with pasta? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. No bubbles. 100% eating the chicken before the chicken farm is done. And this chicken is so thin and juicy and delicious. It's going to be real good. Got all the chicken cooked up. So we'll just take it. I don't even know. I don't think I need these. These are big chickens. Um, put them on a pan. Put some uh, tin foil down just to make it easier to clean up. Just put these on here however they fit. Excellent. Be gentle with your chicken. That's the key. You gotta, you gotta be gentle. Okay. <laughs> so that's on there. Okay, if you have fresh basil, you could put that on. I'm pointing over there because we used to have it in our windowsill, but we don't anymore. We had like put a leaf on, really fancy it. We up. had like eight so basil I'll just sprinkle plants. A little, sprinkle a little basil on there. I don't know. Give it some color. Make it look fancy. Ooh, sprinkle, sprinkle. And uh, that's it. So we'll take this. So the oven actually preheated it to 400, just like get it hot in there. But we're gonna uh, we'll Ooh, turn that off. That sun. Oh, the pizza stone's still in here. Uh oh. That's okay. Just... I'll just put it right on top of the pizza stone. I don't think you should do that. And then, well, what else am I supposed to do? Uh, I guess that's fine. I'll put the pizza, we'll take the pizza stone, just, put it down just, there. No, just do that. It's fine. It does say you can broil it up to five. It's, it's fine, whatever. Okay. Just throw it in So there. we'll put that on, and then what we'll do is put it on broil. Broil on high. And that's it. Bubbling. So, left it in there on broil a little bit. You know, got a little... Little brown, little burnies, that's how you know it's good. And that's it, now we'll eat. That's like a pizza. It's a pizza. Okay, you can uh, put this over pasta. You know, obviously we didn't do that, but we did buy some bread that we've already been eating. So we'll just eat this and some bread. And let's see. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you can do the first taste. That Cheese looks so good. Kind of messy, you know. Good though. Look at that! Look at that cheese. Ooh. Cheese pull. It's gonna be hot. Oh, oh yeah. I tried to wrap it up. Literally, it all I'm watching is steam and you failing to wrap it up. How's it taste? It's good. It looks mm -hmm. good. It looks like one of your best yet. Alrighty, guys. So I'm gonna eat this chicken parm, and we're gonna enjoy our dinner, and we will catch you again here next Sunday. But before we leave, what? Why? What would you guys like to see for the next Cooking with Andy segment? You got pizza or stir fry? So let us know down below in the comments. But if you like today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and we will see you again next week. Bye.